AITA for calling my sister irresponsible and no longer letting her visit over a plant? Me, 26F, and my husband, 27M, have a daughter, 6F, who we have recently been trying to teach more responsibility to. We decided we didn't want to get a pet, even a goldfish, because it was unfair if it died, and after some thinking we brought up the idea to my daughter of growing her own plant. She was thrilled with the idea so the next day we took her to get some seeds. She chose sweet pea seeds and took to caring for her plant better than we expected. It grew really quickly and was thriving quite well considering the tools she had and soon she was showing a strong interest in gardening. We started calling her sweet pea, important later, because of her project and every day she's tell us of the news with her plant. Recently I got news that my grandmother had passed away and we had to fly out to her funeral. My sister, 22F, never talked to her and didn't want to attend the funeral so I decided to ask her to look after my daughter's plant while we were out for the week. She agreed and we brought the plant over, my daughter kissed it goodbye and asked her to please take good care of it. My sister said she would and I though everything was fine, until we got back. When I went to get the plant, my sister said, oh yeah I completely forgot about that, and laughed. She brought the pot out and the stem was somehow snapped and it was wilted. My daughter ran crying to the car and I yelled at her for forgetting it and being irresponsible. She said I could just buy her another one but I said that wasn't the point and left. She hasn't apologized since. I've since been no contact with her and refused to let he visit. She's done other stuff like this in the past because she likes to act as if she's 18, and I've listened to my parents when they told me to let it go, but this time she really hurt my daughter. My parents are now saying it's just a plant and I'm being ridiculous for holding a grudge. My daughter has been extremely sad since the incident and has lost interest in gardening, even asked us to stop calling her sweet pea which breaks my heart. Verdict, not the asshole. Relevant comments. Info. Did your sister know the story of the plant and the name before taking the plant? Oh, P. Yes I told my daughter I'd be there in a minute sweet P, after she handed my sister the plant and then told her about the name and how important the plant was to her. My sister thought it was sweet and said goodbye, so I think she acknowledged the importance. Top comment. As an avid gardener, I think you should still grow plants with your daughter. The reality of gardening is that plants die constantly. It's basically what they do. But they are still a lot of fun. Things that can help are, growing multiple plants, if one dies you still have to water the others. Take this opportunity to explain to your daughter that even when things go one wrong, plant death is not a reason to give up on something she loves. Acknowledge that she's upset about her first plant, but that there are many more great plants in her future. Grow edible plants. Microgreens are basically tiny lettuce, they are ready to harvest in two to four weeks and they are incredibly nutritious. It's fun, it's easy and your daughter can learn to handle plant death. Get a Porthos plant. They're basically unkillable. You can leave it at home alone during your four-week vacation no problem. I'll say NTA as a general judgment, but I think you can pull this back to being a more positive experience for your daughter. She will take cues from you on how to handle this emotionally. Right now, you're really upset at your sister so your daughter is very upset about the plant. Taking this as an opportunity to get some more plants could really turn things around. Oh, P, this sounds like a great idea. I feel heartbroken and hurt seeing her like this so I'll try and have a conversation with her about plant life cycles and maybe take her back to the store to pick up some nice plant pots, gardening tools and seeds. Hopefully that will cheer up her mood a bit. Update. After I had some time to cool off from the events at my sister's and read all the comments, I realized I was overreacting a little bit. I understand now that it was my fault to let my sister handle something that was so important to my daughter, and so after she had a bit of time to grieve her plant, I wasn't going to rush her feelings we had a conversation of plant life cycles. I talked to her about how plants, even in the most well-cared for circumstances, can pass away, and I told her how proud I was that she took care of her plant as well as she did. After a bit of pep talk, she seemed ready to have a go at it again and so we took her to the garden shop again where she picked out her own tools, soil, pots, gloves and lots of different plant seeds. We also got her some vegetable and fruit seeds like some of you suggested so that she could eat what she's grown, which she's really excited for. As for my sister, after a week of posting, I went over to try and explain why the plant meant so much to my daughter and how it couldn't be so easily replaced. I'm sad to say that she once again lectured me on how it was just a plant and that they die all the time. I also got a text from my parents about how they thought I was mature enough to just let go of something so stupid. I realized that they aren't going to change their minds on the subject and that I should just move on. So I've decided to drop the topic with them, but I have decided never to let my sister handle anything of value, especially if it's my daughter's. I have since apologized to my daughter about the sweet pea and we hugged it out. We also took the suggestion to use the old sweet pea as compost Overall, for a new one so that the old plant my daughter is, is feeling better than ever, has given names to all her plants, she has 12 now, and two succulents, takes care of them just as well as the old sweet pea, and has even gone back to requesting we call her sweet pea again which I almost cried tears of joy when she asked that. Thank you to all the suggestions given and the people who offered to send seeds through for my daughter, as well to the people who helped me realize my mistakes. I'm also glad to say we have found a potential plant sitter in the future. My husband's co-worker is very keen on plants and has a very green thumb, just like my daughter. Also, at this rate we're considering setting up an indoor sanctuary for the plants when it gets too cold in winter to bring them outside. So glad things turned out well in the end, everyone's happy, the plants have already started sprouting, and life has never been better.